Hi guys, I'm Eric and welcome back to Canada Casino, your guide to online gambling. There are plenty of beginner players who end up losing money because they don't know when to fold. In today's video, we're going to go over key factors you need to keep in mind before you fold. The first factor is your initial hand. We're going to use Texas Hold'em as an example. In Texas Hold'em, you are dealt two cards pre-flop, so those two cards are what you have to keep in mind to decide whether or not to fold. There's a total of 169 unique combinations you could be dealt at the beginning of a game. Some are stronger than others. You could be dealt pocket aces, which is known to be one of the best hands possible, or you could be given 2-7, which is definitely the worst. Since starting hands can differ in value, this is the first thing you need to keep in mind to determine whether you should start off betting or fold out of the gate. Factor 2. What does money mean to you? Are you in it for the fame and glory of becoming a famous poker player? Or are you just in it for that cold hard cash? This is a key thing you need to ask yourself and that's what does money mean to you? If you're a bit more well off, you might have the luxury to play a more carefree and relaxed game. Whereas if you live paycheck to paycheck, you might feel the need to check your bets more often. The only thing I recommend is to never outplay your pay. At the end of the day, there's no right answer to this question. You have to assess this yourself and determine what money really means to you. Factor number three, how tall is your chip stack? In poker, there's a huge emphasis placed on the amount of chips you have. Your chip stack determines what bets you're able to call and what bets you have to back out on. As the game progresses, the amount of chips you possess determines when you have to play and when you don't. For example, players with a large chip stack have the luxury of folding hands they don't agree with. However, if you do have a lesser chip stack, you might be forced to play more hands due to the blinds chipping away at your stack. Factor number four, what type of player are you up against? It's important to ask yourself when you're sitting at the table, what kind of players are you playing against? Are they a really loose player who play any hands end up losing lots of money? Or are they players that play very tight and only bet on extremely good hands? This helps you determine whether to fold or raise to see what kind of money you can actually make. Factor number five, are you holding the nuts? When it all comes down to it, your hand and the community cards need to make up the best hand on the table. So in this final factor, you need to be able to determine, is your hand the better winning hand? Or is it a situation where you think the other player could have a better hand than yours? However, if it is a situation where you know you have a sure thing, maybe consider adding a little bit extra money to make the other player bite to get you a bigger pot. That concludes our list of factors to determine when and when not to fold. If you have any factors of your own that you use, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, leave a like if you enjoyed, and definitely subscribe for more gambling content coming soon. This was Canada Casino, and I'll see you guys next time.